How's it going lads? I'm Tom LFC Heaven and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode and we have the third Champions League game at Anfield. This is Anfield and welcome to the third Champions League game of the group stage and I'm really excited because you know we lost the first game against Inter and that was a terrible start but then we won the next game against Panathinaikos and as you can see we, we are in third place but I'm excited because if we beat Marseille then we can take second spot in the group and move March upwards and I think uh, I think we are better than Marseille and Panathinaikos and maybe on the same level as Inter so if we beat Marseille and Panathinaikos home and away then we have a great chance of advancing and also Maybe Inter will lose some points as they already did in the previous round. Marseille beat Inter, so let's beat Marseille here. Oh, what a ball, Coutinho! What a save! Brilliant ball! Look at this through ball by Ashravi, that was world class! And Coutinho almost scored. Oh, go on, Sterling! You got this! Go on, Sterling, you got this! You got this! Oh, yes! Raheem Sterling with an absolutely terrific run and finish! And this is what we want to see from our youngsters stepping up to the plate and scoring crucial goals in the league and the Champions League. Brilliant finish! Oh, no! Oh, what have you done? Oh, yes, relief. Marseille miss an absolute sitter. Are you misses a sitter? Rahim! No, not Rahim! Asharavi! What am I on about? What a mistake! What an absolutely horrendous mistake by the Marseille centre back. And this is what great teams do. do. Punish! Mercilessly, the mistakes. Brilliant. Go on, Ashravi. Not no, it's storage. Oh yes, a sweaty goal. Put your put your sweat bands on, guys. We just scored a sweaty goal, and let's do a robot. And Marseille just sent to the cleaners. Three 0 before half time. Brilliant. Oh no, 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 no. What a miss. Woohoo, thank you. Oh no, what a save. What a miss. Oh, we got so lucky. Oh yes. Ashraf is through. And Ashraf hits the post. No. Ooh, so unlucky. Let's make three subs. We are 3 nil up and uh, there is not much time left. Let's do this. Oh, what a... Wow! How did he miss that? And Sako almost took him out. That was a great leap, Ray. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ayu makes it 3-1. I should have stopped the cross. But I didn't want to get the penalty. What a brilliant win. That's what I want to see. We wrapped up the game in the last 15 minutes of the first half with absolutely fantastic finishing. And especially that Sterling goal was so sweet. So here are the stats. Marseille had some good chances. But sometimes they missed really, really badly. So we are up and running in the Champions League. Two wins in a row. Get in. So now it's time to look at the Champions League tables. So here are all the all the group stage standings at the moment at uh, the halfway stage after three games. And uh, keep commenting which player should uh, replace Steven Gerrard when he retires at the end of the season. I might uh, sign a really big player in the January transfer window as I have 35 million pounds sitting in the transfer budget. So let me know who do you want, guys. And as you can see, Inter and Liverpool are uh, on top spot. So we need, I think, two more wins to make sure that we get uh, qualified. And uh, finally, we are picking up some form in the Champions League. Brilliant. And what a big game our next game is. Chelsea against Liverpool. Let's renew our old rivalry with them. Come on. 
Welcome to Stamford Bridge, the home of Chelsea and I know there are some Chelsea fans watching this video so don't get me wrong guys if I get excited when uh, we are leading or beating Chelsea because uh, they are big big rivals to Liverpool and they are in 10th place and whoa just some added motivation we have Fernando Torres starting for them so I ain't worried about their striker uh, at all and I will celebrate in Torres's face when we score I can tell you that but now let's beat Chelsea come on guys Coutinho, oh! Cups would like to do it the other way round, but a, a great European double for Chelsea and the two different managers. Oh my word! Sterling almost scored an absolute belter. What a hit that is! Whoa! He's lost the ball. It's a chance. Oh! Oh, that's so close, Sturridge. No. No, he's wide open. Oh, Mignolet was very cool and calm there, but it. Oh, what a ball! Come on, Air Shravi, finish it! No! What a save by Muslera! Oh, in the 90th minute almost! Oh, let's make three subs, there are not many time left. Come on. Ah, what a disappointing game. We could have won it in the end, but we could have lost it. Chelsea had some chances as well. But, you know, I take it it's a, a point away from home at Stamford Bridge. And uh, we we had the better position, more shots, more shots on target. So we could have won it, but I'm not too disappointed with the draw. So these are the latest results. The good news is uh, that even though we didn't beat Chelsea, we didn't lose ground on Man United because they couldn't beat Southampton away from home. So I think that means that uh, goal difference uh, pending, I think uh, the, the, they didn't change for either team. So we are still top of the league and that's the most important thing. But the, the, the chasers, Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Everton are catching up really fast and we are already 10 points ahead of Chelsea which is absolutely astonishing Chelsea in 8th place each season there is one team that is doing really badly who you expect to be up there thanks for watching guys I really hope and really appreciate uh, if you enjoyed this video then leave a like and if the video gets to 200 likes you will see two episodes every day so and don't forget to tell me which player should replace Gerard in the center attacking midfielder position thanks for watching see you later guys have a nice evening goodbye welcome to norwich against liverpool in the first round of the cock cup known as the capital one cup and as you can see i field a lot of very very young promising players because i want to try them out i decided not to field the youth academy goalkeeper jimenez because he's only a 61 rated player and I want to get to the final